you know, 180, and I mean, didn't tell me he was going to do any of this. I had, I had no seatbelt on. I almost hit my head on. The um, am I good? Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, it was fun. So that's kind of, that's kind of my introduction to to the show and to to the boys. And uh, we hit it off right away because I'm from Texas. They're from Texas. So, uh, it seemed like a good fit. And it seems to work. And uh, what's that? You're from here? Yeah. From the Double Tree? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in so and I grew up in the I don't understand. I thought you were twins. <laughs> Separated at birth? Yeah. Reuniting at a supernatural convention. That is awesome. <laughs> Oh, we're going over here now. Hey. So you played on Supernatural in your early 20s, -ish, and then you also played on Once Upon a Time. So which, so which era would you like to have lived in, or the costume-wise? Um, yeah, costume-wise, uh, if I had to pick between the two, definitely what's going on in Supernatural. <laughs> Uh, is playing a prince is kind of cool, but uh, there's a lot of sequence. <laughs> Doesn't breathe very well. A lot of like high like turtleneck collars. You guys will probably like that. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And you um, get modern day plumbing. What's that? You get modern day plumbing. Yes. I uh, I love the clothes from like the 40s and 50s, so I, I definitely would say anything in that in that era is uh, is okay with me for sure. Also, you're far from the uh, newest episode. That right. You're in. That was amazing. It was an amazing car. I can't remember. I think it was like a. It was. It was. It wasn't an Impala. It was like an Imperial. It was like a Chrysler Imperial. Does that sound right? Yeah. yeah. It it kind of has the look of an Impala, but right. it's not. Right, and it was very, very large, very heavy, and I had to drive it uh, out the gate with the camera coming down in front of it, and they were like, you'll be fine, you won't, just don't wreck the car or the camera, and you'll be great. <laughs> so, I drove very slow. Hey, Hi. Catherine. Okay. Oh, wait, um, have you been to the zoo here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I went this morning. No. <laughs> wow, awesome. Is it awesome they have a good zoo here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We should go. We should go to the zoo. Here. <laughs> Absolutely, I would love that. Um, I'm I think she's here on the bill. We should go to the zoo. <laughs> I hear it's pretty wild. Kind of hot. <laughs> What's that? Oh, uh, <laughs> twins. <laughs> no, I haven't been to the zoo. I got here uh, around midnight last night, so I haven't ever fit it in yet. I have uh... a. <laughs> Everyone, let's go to the zoo now! Oh, <laughs> I, I hope maybe I'll have some time tomorrow. I'm going to try to get out and see some things tomorrow. It's my first time in, in D.C. And oh, wow. Very excited to be here. Um, you're technically not in D.C., though. What's that? You're technically not in D.C. You're technically not in D.C. Uh, my bad. My bad. Um, <laughs> technically, the double tree in, in Arlington. Yeah. In Arlington? Yeah. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Not the case. It's a lot of politicians and stuff. A lot of traffic, crime. That sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Evan. All right, see you at the zoo. Hey. I love your once upon a time. Thank you. Do you have any other jobs lined up besides supernatural? Um, lined up. That's you know that's like an actor's fa either favorite or least favorite question. 
<laughs> because if you have something lined up, you're like, yeah, I, uh, and if you don't, you're like, no, <laughs> not really. Like when I go home to see my family, when I go back to Texas, that's like the question. So what you got in the, what you got coming down the pipe? Like, what you got in the works? <laughs> like, no, nothing right now. No, um, I, I'm hoping to be back on Supernatural and Once Upon a Time. But, but, but they, they don't tell me anything, literally. So um, I just did an episode of a show called Beauty and the Beast. It was a lot of fun to work on. I got to go to Toronto, which I've never been to before, so that was fun. A uh, really nice show. Just did one episode, so I don't know when that's going to air, but I think sometime in the next couple months. Um, but other than that, you know, just doing some of this. This is, this is fun. This is work. This is like work without work. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's great. It's great. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hey. Um, I just want to say, you, out of most of the people that I I follow on Twitter, you're probably the most active in responding to people and favoring things, and I love that, and I wanted to say thank you for that. Because oh, okay. <laughs> it's really nice as a fan to have that wonderful interaction with the people that we watch on the show, and that we appreciate, so thank you. Well, you're very, you're very welcome. It's funny that you say that, because uh, I started to feel like I'm like favoriting too much or something. <laughs> <laughs> because someone named Lauren Williams, is she here? Okay. Um, she said that I'm like hoarding favorites. And I'm like, wait, am I, am I favorite too much? Is this, am I? Okay. Because I'm not the best at Twitter, you know, but I'm like, if, I, if someone makes me laugh, I give them a favorite. Or if they say something, you know, mildly entertaining, I give them a favorite. <laughs> But I did notice the other day, like it has like followers, you know, all that, all this, all the numbers lined up, and it's like favorites. I've got way more favorites than like anything else. So maybe you're very welcome. Thank you. Hey, my, my question really of course. is, um, like, how is how has things like that, like fan interaction, how has that been for you? Is it have you been overwhelmed, or is it kind of been an even slow rise, or how has that been? Has it been exciting? I don't think it's been overwhelming. <laughs> Yet. Um, Wait, now you're on a concert, it's been a very different experience, though. You know, uh, I, mean, I started doing Twitter uh, maybe a year ago or so, and it was because of Supernatural. After I, after uh, after doing the first episode, I was having coffee with uh, Adam Glass, who's one of the writers, and, and he uh, encouraged me to to do it. So I was like, all right. I, th I always thought I'd, I'd do more of the Jensen route, you know, like be too cool for Twitter. <laughs> Just have people hashtag my name all day long. <laughs> but I caved, and it's pretty cool. It's nice to like, you know, I mean, I, it's, it's funny. Like, I, there's some people I may not remember your name, but like I can I recognize faces from Twitter. And, you know, it's cool. Thank Enjoy. You very You're very welcome. Thank you. This one's way shorter than this thing. Yeah, and I wholeheartedly promise not to hit on you. <laughs> anyway. Woo! Also, God. Yeah. What a relief. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> for both of us. Anyway. Also, I'm also from Texas. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I had a couple, and I heard that, so I was going to say, you also a Cowboys fan? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, man, I'm from, I, grew up, I grew up in a little town south of Houston. It's called Angleton, Texas. Oh, Down Houston. there, we grew up rooting for the Houston Oilers. Yeah. And now we try to root for the Houston Texans. In the yeah. Thanks. But, uh, yeah, man, absolutely. Cowboys are a uh, great team. Yeah. <laughs> it's wrong place for that, dude. Hey. Yeah. Uh, I was just wanted to ask you, I don't know if Want someone to make Jensen and Jared hold the heel to the Redskins um, sign in their forehead? Whether you got any insight um, <laughs> with respect to the character of Henry Winchester, did you get any insight from anybody else on the show, whether Jensen or Jared or any of the writers, how to play that part, or was it just here's the script, go with it, even though he's a fairly important addition to the no, it's a, that's a very intelligent question. Um, I uh, hope that can give you an intelligent answer. Um, no, I actually did. Uh, I had a, had a couple conversations with Adam Glass, 
who is the writer who introduced Henry. And uh, so he filled me in on kind of his, his vision for what he wrote, which helped. And then when I got to Vancouver, I had coffee with uh, Serge. Uh, and I'm going to butcher his last name, so I'm not even going to try. But uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know Serge. He's, uh, he's been he's been on the show for forever, and we got to direct his first episode. And I don't know if he's directed any since, but he directed as time goes by. And uh, and so he asked me to come meet with him for coffee, and he was very very helpful in, uh, in going over you know the kind of the inner workings of Henry and what he saw. And, and, and it, yeah, it was a lot of help, and it kind of surprised me a, a little bit, too, because a lot of times on, on TV shows, you don't get that sort of thing from, from a director or, or, or a writer at all. Sometimes you don't even have a conversation, you know, but Supernatural, it's a special show, and he wanted to make sure that I knew exactly what I was doing, and uh, it definitely helped. Thank you. Thank you. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Uh, Lainey? Lainey? E-Lady. E-Lady. Sorry. No. E-Lady. E-Lady. <laughs> this guy's in my ear over here. D- <laughs> E-Lady. My bad. Sorry. Um, my question was, in the most recent episode that you were in of Supernatural, you get to see the chemistry between this health inspector, jo- Josie, <laughs> yes. and your character, Henry. And as your opinion, not as Henry, but as yourself, do you think they had a more sibling relationship or more romantic as some of the fans wanted? <laughs> um, well, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's uh, what was that? Yeah, not uh, not sibling. <laughs> no, <laughs> I think it's definitely more. Um, you know, I, 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 Henry is a happily married man, but there's I think there's definitely a chemistry between he and Josie. There's something there that maybe if Henry wasn't married and just a stand-up guy, <laughs> that maybe he would pursue something with her. So there, I think there's definitely like a spark. At least that's the way I've always seen it, and, and I think that's kind of what Adam had intended. And, uh, and Elena's wonderful to work with. She and I have become close friends through this whole thing. So um, I feel like she and I have like a nice little chemistry as we've become friends on the show. So it's nice. Thank you, Elaine. <laughs> hey. Hi, my name is Virginia. Hey, Virginia. Thank hey. That's where we are right now. Virginia. Where we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have two questions. The first is a two part question. Sorry. Um, what are some of your favorite TV shows and what would you really like to guest on? No, I'm going to make Um, Favorite TV shows? Well, right now, I mean, Game of Thrones. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I get, I, get, I get really excited for that show. Um, <laughs> Mad Men. Mad Men is probably the show that I will never get to be on, unfortunately, but I've always wanted to be on. Really good costume. Yeah, great. Exactly. Everything about that show is amazing. Um, and it's coming to an end. So I think they're close to wrapping up all the castings for that show. Don't, don't quote me on that, but, but uh, yeah, it's also a wonderful show. Okay, and then my second question is, if in the event I'm selected for karaoke today, would you like to sing a duet with me? <laughs> <laughs> I could be open to that. What are you thinking? I'm thinking A Whole New World from the Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. Hey, uh, Gail, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Um, so she set me up pretty good. Um, I first wanted to say that I was absolutely thrilled and got cast on Once Upon a Time. And I, I was shocked. <laughs> to be honest. I thought it was absolutely perfect casting. Um, and I just wanted to know if you had that one Disney movie growing up that you were absolutely obsessed with. Um, I have a younger sister, and uh, so I, I and like a ton of, of girl cousins. And not that those movies aren't for boys too, but you know, so those movies were a big part of my childhood. Um, and I will say, Little Mermaid was always like a very popular one. Uh, uh, the, the music, I think, is, is phenomenal for that one. And, uh, and, and
into a Latin, you know, <laughs> I remember, I think I was like 15 or something with that, I'm dating myself now, but I think, I think I was like 15 when that one came out, and I remember like, that was like kind of a go-to, like, try to like, kiss the girl uh, movie, you know? I remember at 15 having like a girl over the house and you watch it. It's totally gonna work. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Hey. Think about it while I try to answer the first one. Um, well, I, you know, I literally, I just met these guys. Um, I, I, I met Rob and Richard briefly at Jared's house one night, um, which was a treat. And uh, but I'm just kind of getting to know these guys. Um, so I don't know that I have any like funny stories yet um, from the convention yet, but hopefully I will have some by the time I leave. Um, yeah, on set, I mean, you guys, I'm sure you've heard Jared and Jensen are, are total pranksters. Um, what's that? Oh, it's nothing too scandalous, but <laughs> a bitch. Uh, they, was, they, was, uh, they got me good one day. We were shooting, it was in, as, as time goes by, we were shooting a scene, and um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Jared from Computer doing something, and he turns the computer around to show me what he's working on, and I come up to take a look, and he turns it around, and it's just, just a god-awful picture. Um, <laughs> uh, it's something I can't even, I can't even say. It was, it was just, it was just bad. It was just like a, it was just a really terrifying man. That's all I was going to say. And it was like, oh. <laughs> What's my line? I cannot hold it together. <laughs> and I think that they've used that uh, on other other guests on the show as well. I think it's kind of their go-to uh, computer gag. Anyway. Okay, I, I remember. My second question was, somebody asked this to First, my, that's a, okay, yeah. my first professional acting job, uh, I, was, I was just out of college, I think I was 20, 23 or 24, and uh, yeah, I think I was 23, and it was on a show, it was a David E. Kelly show called The Brotherhood of Poland, New Hampshire. <laughs> Anyone here see that? <laughs> Not one person saw that? Oh, wow. I mean, like, what? Uh, yeah, you know, you know, David E. Kelly is. Right? Okay, so it was, you know, it didn't last very long. It was like canceled the thing after like five episodes or something. But it had, uh, it had uh, Randy Quaid. <laughs> it was weird they canceled it. Um, and John Carroll Lynch. And anyway, so so I get this job and and the and it's just like two scenes and the first scene we shoot. I play the boyfriend of John Carroll Lynch's daughter, and we are in bed together, in his bed. <laughs> and he comes in and catches us in bed together. And I jump out of the bed, like, and I'm, and I'm just wearing a jock strap <laughs> and a cup, <laughs> like a hockey cup. <laughs> and he screams at me. And that was my, that the first time I heard someone in a, on a professional stage yell action and that, that meant me. <laughs> I was in bed making out with a girl <laughs> wearing a jock strap up. And I was like, this is going to be great. <laughs> this is a great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Hey guys, I'm Jessica. Um, I have a question for Jared. Where if you were a little intimidated on coming to the show, um, and if you'd heard of us or heard of the supernatural fandom, or you were scared as you quit to come here today, <laughs> we just all lovely people. 
sometimes talking we get scared. <laughs> Uh, uh, someone told me to, to not accept a drink from anyone. <laughs> I was like, that seems a bit harsh. <laughs> they seem like lovely people. Um, you know, when I went to work on the show, I think I heard a little bit about it, but um, yeah, I, I really had no idea. And, and the guys filled me in, told me, told me, they said, look, you might, you know, because you're playing a Winchester, that alone, <laughs> you might get asked to come do some of these conventions, and they and they said you should. If they asked you, you should definitely do it. And I was like, hey, I'm open to it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> sure, sounds great. Um, so it, it was it was eye opening to me, and then, and um, and then I think once I joined Twitter, it started like I just, you know started to kind of see more about what it was, what it was about, and uh, yeah, I don't know if I. Yeah, that's fine. Well, yeah. we like you very much. Thank oh, you. Thank you. It's good to meet you. Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, you know, I appreciate that. It's from uh, American Apparel. I've never shopped there, ever. But I was at the gym. And, and I would never do this ever, but there was this guy uh, working out, and he was wearing a shirt like this. <laughs> and, and he was like a big black guy, he was just like ribs. And I went up and I was like, dude, look, I'm sorry about it. I don't want to do this, but we're just that shirt. <laughs> and he just kind of looked at me. <laughs> like, wear a good barrel. I'm like, all right, cool. We'll get one. <laughs> Later. Let me know if you need a spot. that you learned from your childhood that you'll contribute in the future? Wow, you're deep. <laughs> you know, the thing that just kind of comes to mind, I guess, is um, is family, you know? And uh, I never thought in a million years I would play a grandfather <laughs> at, you know, 35 years old. <laughs> But I, yeah, I did. It's really cool, and so it feels special to like, kind of, you know, think about that bond. And, and I was very close with both my grandfathers, you know, and I miss them dearly. So in a, in a way, it was it was kind of cool to get to like experience that and, and think about myself as a grandfather to these two boys, you know, and, and, and trying to help them. Yeah. And then the other one is like, can you tell us goes by? Can I do what with it? <laughs> Need some water? The job, or I've got the office. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, well, it's. I, I, I'll be honest. I think like once you get the job, I think at least me personally, then you really kind of get to more seriously delve into it. But um, I guess it depends what it is. But I, I, I'm, I'm an actor that feels like uh, so much of it is in the writing, especially if it's good writing, and like so much, so much of the information is in there. Even like how a character speaks to me is in the writing. Yeah. You have an understanding of it, so um, I think it's all there. It, it, so I, I just, I, I, you know, I read it. I, I, you know, sometimes do some writing on it if I feel like I need to. Um, yeah, and if there's ever any sort of research involved, it, it just makes it even more fun. You know, like uh, I got to play Elvis once, and that was like, <laughs> true. And so like I've always been a huge Elvis fan. So I got to really kind of delve into that. And, um, 
Yeah, so that, that's fun. If you get to actually play a person or something where you have to like get it right, then it's fun to, to get to do some homework for sure. Thank you. I'll take that with me in my future endeavors. Thank you. <laughs> is that it? You guys got me off? <laughs> <laughs> to do that and I think it would just be really cool to like be able to grow a beard. I always get these roles where they're like, you have to shave. Like, ah, no, but I'm not gonna look as cool, shave. But uh, yes, yeah, so I'd love to be able to like, grow a beard and like spit, chew gum, ride a horse, things of that, you know, the cowboy nature. Yeah, that would be fun. Thank you. Thank you for that sweet compliment. Hi, my name's Ariel. I know it's not because it's your favorite movie. I swear to God, you lose my driver's license. It's actually Ariel. It's <laughs> kidding. <laughs> but um, just two questions. First one is two-parter. Um, when you found out they were going to kill you in your first episode, were you kind of upset? And then were you surprised when they brought you back again? Yeah, I don't. At, at that point, I don't think I was like uh, upset over it because most of the shows I've worked on have been like one episode, you know. So I was kind of like, oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna go do an episode of Supernatural, and and then and then I, I guess I, once I found out the magnitude of being a Winchester and like that I was playing like their grandfather, I was kind of like, that's kind of weird. They're gonna kill me off already, but they must hate me. <laughs> no. Uh, but they told me, like, right off the bat, too, they're like, look, every one of the show dies. <laughs> everybody dies, everybody's buried, and, and I guess, yeah, so, burned. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's there's always a way to come back, right? I mean, Abaddon was, like, cut into pieces and buried in cement. <laughs> and she's back again. That's because they put her back together. That's kind of their fault. Right. Look. <laughs> I was really excited when they asked me to come back, and then I saw, and I thought I was going to come back from the dead, and it was like a flashback, which was cool because I kind of got to go back and like do some some more of the backstory. But I'm hopeful. I would love to, you know, come, out, come out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> um, the second part is being a little bit of a copycat. Um, I really want to sing a song for karaoke, but I'm here by myself and need a guy to do it. So would you possibly be willing to do a second? <laughs> what do you have in mind? Summer night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I played Danny. I played Danny in college. I went to. Uh... <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Karaoke tonight, right? We'll do it tonight. Before you had um, been on the show, had you ever heard of the show or watched the show? Um, yeah, I, I heard of it. Uh, I was telling some guys hey, this morning, I, um, I actually tested for the role of Sam when it was a pilot. And, uh, yeah, so I knew of the show, and and um, and then I th I, I, yeah, I I thought that it, I didn't know it was still on. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was like around season four or five. It went away, but then I and I got an audition for it. And I'm like what? <laughs> this thing, I, yeah. So it was kind of news to me, but um, and there's so many episodes. I've tried to go back and because I feel like I. I for some reason, I feel like I owe it to you guys. I know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> but I don't most of the time. Um, but I try to go back and watch some episodes. There's so many episodes. There's so much goes on. <laughs> uh, it's like uh, it's impossible. But, uh, and uh, do you see in the future possible meet up with Campbell Grandpa? 
Winchester grandfather. I'm sorry, say that again? The Campbell grandfather. Right. A fight between you and I? Mitch Pelegi, is that his name? I don't know the guy. Did he say something about me? I think that'd be cool, but uh, no, I, I have no idea. And I have one more. Um, do you know, um, can you talk about any scenes that might have hit the cutting room floor that we might not have seen? There was just one that I know of in uh, as, as time goes by, and it wasn't even a scene. It was just like in the end part of a scene uh, with, with, um, with Sam and I when we were in the motel, and, and I'm looking through the, uh, the journal. There was an additional part, an end to that scene with Sam and I have a really nice moment. And it was, it uh, escapes me what it was exactly you were talking about, really. But, uh, Dialogue and look. Thank you. I think it's online. We were talking about, oh, I know, thank you. We were talking about John and how, um, you know, Sam thinks that Dean takes after John. And I'm saying, no, let's see, let's see some of you in him, too, or something like that. And it was a really nice, uh, and the only, the only reason they cut it was timing. Uh, they told me they... Because it was one of my favorite moments in the episode, and they said it's just time. They just didn't have the time. Did somebody say it. that that scene's online somewhere? Yeah. Somebody did. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> hey. Hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> what's your name? Uh, my name's Brett. Uh, my name's Brett. 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 Yes. I thought you said brick. <laughs> 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 uh, do you watch The Walking Dead? Oh, yeah, I do. I do. If you were offered a part in that show, would you want to be a hero or a villain? Oh, or a zombie. Or a zombie. Definitely not a zombie. <laughs> Definitely not a zombie. Um, those poor extras. Come on, <laughs> Walking around dressed like a zombie in the Atlanta humidity? Oh, my goodness. Has anybody here ever done that? <laughs> Woo! You did it? <laughs> Wow. Um, I, I think I'd want to be a hero of some sort. Yeah. It's fun to play the bad guy, but I, sometimes I want to be like the good guy and like save the day, you know? That's kind of why I really like playing Henry, because I played it my fair share of like murderers and uh, rapists and, and, you know. And yeah, it's not, it's not me. It's, uh, you know, as an actor, yeah, my parents are like, oh, what kind of sordid character are you playing now? Like, it's as an actor, you know, a lot of times on these like uh, procedural type shows, the guest stars they're always, you know, like the bad guy or the suspect or someone who's kind of shady. So I tend to play a lot of these. Uh, which do you think would show up better on a resume, a hero or a villain? Both. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think either could work great for you. I, I just don't ever want to like get like set doing one thing. You know. <laughs> Okay. Hey. No, no, I'm not even here. Just don't do that. Don't think I'm going to answer a question. I just point out here to. It seems more like we're, we're descending. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have about $5 and we're not even on the bill. You're in your chairs in an upright position. So, answer your question. We're not even here. We're just doing the slightest so answer. Please prepare for landing. Yes. <laughs> My favorite Game of Thrones, House of It's hard for me because I, you know, Jamie's probably my favorite character. So I, I, I and, and Tyrion as well. Um, you know, and I, I, I assume everyone here is, well, I don't want to get into the way of the show, but uh, yeah, you know, of course I started out reading for Starks, and now it's like I, I, I want the land. There's parts of the Lannisters that I really love, and yeah, I, Jamie's probably uh, the most interesting character on in that show to me. Thank you. Hey, here's the last question. Here it goes. Last question to Gil. This is the moment we've all been dreading. The last question for Gil. The last question for Gil. He's no longer a new guy now. He's an old guy. The last question for Gil. I'm so sorry, but I'm so sorry, 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 I'm
No, 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 I never worked with him. I never met him. I don't see him uh, on the show, so I had very little to go on. But I was kind of shocked when he came up and was very friendly and said, "I'm excited to have you here, and this is going to be great." And so I was like, "Oh, okay, awesome." You're kind of funny to be like, really. You think people are an asshole, they pleasantly surprised. Yeah. <laughs> really nice. Awesome. It's like you're like, "Where's our benefit effect?" Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Thank <laughs> you.